I'll get some water. It's the only thing that really finches, finches your quirks. Quenches your thirst. Oh, quenches your thirst. Yeah. I got it. Yeah. Talking to the lady at the... That shirt looks nice on you. The color is nice. Thanks, Mom. At the uh, dog boarding slash where I get the dog's food and stuff like that. What? How at where? It's out. It's out on the way to Arroyo Succo. That's way out. Succo, not Succo. It's Sucko, because every, every time I go out there, something sucko happens. <laughs> I try not to go out there so much. Here, Ma, try, I got this today. Look at this the, the lady gave me this. They're, They're peanut butter yummies. Let's let's face these, Ma. Those colors are really Here, out. take a bite. It may be. It's like a homemade Reese's peanut butter cup. It is. Oh my God. You like it? And no, it's just like, I'm just like that. It tastes just like <laughs> a Reese's peanut butter cup. Taste that. Right you can't even eat one in all in one sitting. Yeah. That's pretty remarkable, huh? She lived in Minnesota. She, does she still live here? No, she lives here, Mom. Okay, I'm going to do my talk. Okay. Well, I'll get some stuff off my head. Those combinations look really nice. Very nice. My outfit? Yeah. <laughs> What's this terms of you? What the heck is that about? Everything is so weird, man. This is my, this is the fit. <laughs> the fit. Here, let me pull up my sock. Don't want to look like no slacker. You know what, the, the materials are, those are very nice. They look nice. I just got home from town. I did a quick trip. It was a funny story. I'm just going to tell the story about town. So first, I stopped off to get, because when I went in yesterday to get the dog food, the lady said, come back tomorrow, and I'll have these for you. And I'm like, what? You have some for me? No, nobody has some for me. Oh, that's so nice. And so, so I said I could do that. So I went in today. I pull up, and she's like, are your ears burning? And I said, no. I said, usually they do when people are talking about me, too. <laughs> Must be, I, I need to get them tuned. What are you doing, little bug? Oh, bud, you got eye boogers? Oh. And you're on your back, bud. Good boy, baby. Said, Ma, you're always saving my life, Ma. Yeah. You're always saving my life, Ma. Good boy. Sure thing, little bug. And so, uh, good boy. And I'm, and I'm, I always, if no, if it's not busy, I'm, we're just talking, right? And, 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 and I look at my little thing of the day and it said, listen more than you talk or something like that. And I said, okay, I'm going to practice that today, okay. right? I'm going to practice. I get opportunities to practice ways to be a better version of me. Mm -hmm. And so... Co-stars an app I use that says be slow to speak and quick to listen is what it said. And so I took heed and I was listening to this lady and I you know I'd court Hi Luna I'd interject and, and and then I'd listen and you know and cause I get so excited I wanna contribute but not today. So at one point though I did say um, I, I was like, do you guys have vitamins here? And they're like, no. I said, okay, I'll go get the ones I usually get at Tractor Supply. And, 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 uh, yeah, Tractor Supply. And I said, it was the weirdest thing. Tucker was laying there this morning and it was about 10 o'clock and we hadn't gotten up yet. Mom hadn't gotten up. We were just kind of just, I was waiting for her because then I got to shift into gear and 
got our routine to do and stuff and and um tucker just starts going like baying right like he does when he bays come here benny come on good boy benny and I kind of, I went over and I kind of shifted him. I thought he was, I don't know, I don't know what he, I just thought he, I don't know. I just thought I needed to get him out of the position he was in. And so I did. And um, I was telling the lady, uh, the gal at the place, uh, unleashed about it. And, uh, and, 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 and she said, what time was it? I said, she said, all the dogs here were baying too. And she said it was about the same time. Oh. See, the energy is so, po I guess, I guess you're, uh, for me, what I think it is the most stimulating energy for me is Uranus stationing direct. Uranus? Uranus. Uranus. It's, a planet. it's a planet. Yeah. Not to be cute, confused with what 15-year-old boys would laugh and giggle at. Um, and it's just, and how is it, when, where's my Uranus in my chart? If I look at it, I hear you, girl. When I look at it, I gotta go to my astro folder. Mine is in Libra, thank goodness. <laughs> yeah, but that, but still, Libra, there's shadow and, and there's pros and cons to every sign. So it's it's like, but Libra's, you know, a word on the street, Libra's the more balanced. So I guess if I'm going to have it, you know, you're right at the electrifying planet. It's going to be that one. How you doing, bud? You good boy? You overstimulated too? That's why I keep telling people, I said, man, the energetic sensitive, that includes old people, that includes little kids, that includes dogs, that includes puppies, that includes old dogs, you know. Hi, baby girl. It's almost time for them to eat, so or I got to soak their food in about 20 minutes or so. So, good girl, pretty lady. She said, don't just dawdle about looks. I'm smart and funny, too. Yes, you are. So, um, I left there after we chatted for a little bit. I really don't want to take up people's time too much while they are, you know, working. So, I went on into town, and on my way in, my next thing to do is I called my friend, my dear sweet Earth Angel, and said, Listen, I said, the energy, I said, it's real potent. I said, the potential for a heated... You know, a impassioned argue, or a discussion today, this weekend is predominant, okay? And so, uh, just so you know, and then I get off the phone with her, and I said, you know what, maybe I'll give my dad a call and see, <laughs> and see how he's doing, right? Because he's just, he's going through the process of getting that high school smile, so to speak. So, so I, uh... Give him a call. And he's going through this list of, like, expenses. Oh. Right? Yeah. All these expenses of how much it costs. And I'm thinking to myself. Oh. And after he goes through these expenses, I say, you know what? I say, I, I, I don't... People don't, don't understand. It's like, you need to mind your manners, right? You need to you need to not say things in certain situations. I don't know. That's the things that controllers say. So I decided some years back, I'm going to speak what's on my heart. Because nobody had any problem speaking on their heart in, in offensive ways in formative years for me. Good boy. Good boy. So I say, you know what, Dad? Let me tell you a little story. Back in 2020, October, when my landlord reached out to me and when we lived in Salem, Oregon and said, you need to move out of my house. I need my, my, my adult son needs to move back in there. I want to go live with my boyfriend and it won't look good if my adult son is trailing along. So you and your elderly nut mother need to get out. You have 45 days. Now, 
this was a time, and I mean, there's been a housing crisis all over the place, you know. I about had a nervous breakdown. I never got to have a nervous breakdown because I always had to keep going, see. I never got the opportunity to just collapse and say somebody else has to do everything because I can't function. What a dubious luxury. So, I reached out to my brother, who's a lawyer for the state of California, the Office of Parole, and has been for many years, and, and not in, in, different a, in different facets. He's worked for the state as a programmer in different areas, now a lawyer, and he bounces back between the Army Guard when he feels like traveling, and... You know, we just figured out how to work the system. Guy makes a... Anyway, so I reached out to him with all of his connections, you know, and he is my brother. And, uh, I mean, I have it here. I was the best man in his last wedding. And he wrote here where he said I was his best friend, but this letter is dated 1992, 93, you know. But we got thrown away is what happened. And so... But at this time, I reached out to him, and I said, Jerry, I said, Will you I said, please help me find a place that's closer to you and the girls. It'll be good for mom. It'll be good for me, you know. I said, I need help. I said, there's fires everywhere. I said, I can't find. And he said, he said, Margie, when we were in high school, we had a conversation, and we made a deal. And that deal was, is that you take care of mom, and I'll take care of dad. And he's as and and my dad's telling me about all these expenses. I said, you know what, dad? I said the way I see it, I said he needs to pay for your teeth, to make good do on his word. And his promise that he made when we were back in high school, right? And my dad's like, no, 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 no. I'm not going to let anybody take care of me. Oh, no. And I was like, and I didn't say it. But I remember the years that he got to live with grandma after he had his head injury and his mom and dad took him in, took care of everything, paid for everything, you know, took him to all of his doctor's appointments. I was 15 when mom had hers. Mom didn't have no other support in the life. We had a different situation, right? So I'm just going, I, my dad, and he's telling, oh, I don't want nobody to take care of me until after I die. I said, what a wonderful thing. After he dies. Until after he dies. He's like, then people can take care of him. I said, Wonder what a wonderful thing. I said, I've needed help in life. And people haven't been there. So how nice for you to turn it away. You know? I mean, I'm just like, hey, so I said, okay, well, that's about it. Because usually I can only stand talking to the man about five minutes. And the thing of it is, is like, I can't resent, despise, hate, loathe, dislike, have any connotation, because I am him. I am all of that that I don't want to be. And every time I talk to him, I'm just reminded of it, frankly. I'm just reminded of how I don't want to be, my really, really. So anyway, went on down the road <sighs> and went to the market. What, what else did I do? I did go to Tractor Supply. I got the vitamins, and then I went to the market, and uh, it was a real pretty day. And I went to the market to get to get some carpet cleaner, cause the I got four old dogs, and I got to take them out several times a day, and the carpets are light, so I I, I keep them clean. And uh, I walk up, and there's a woman at the counter. There's, she has her cart, and then there's a cart with, like, trash and stuff in it right next to her. Wow. Like, I don't know what, that was just there, just, like, blocking the way. And then there's this little dude, little dude, 
little man. Hey, little man. He was behind. He and and he was standing. Oh, but I didn't know if he was. So I walk around. I ask questions, see, because I don't want to know. So I ask questions. So I said, I, I said, are you in line? And he he goes, yes. He barked at me, right? So yeah, and I said, that's cool, right? And smile really big. Then I put my earphones on, and I'm like, right? And so the woman finishes her, and she's an older woman, and she, her cart's full. She's having a hard time navigating, you know? And this dude was, like, totally in her way, right? And and he pushes past her, and I said, well, well, R.I.P. Chivalry. I said, I said, he, I said, they, I said, they aren't, it, they aren't big into doing you any favors, are they? Like getting out of the way or even offering to help you move your, your car. You know what I mean? And I, and I said, I said, chivalry's been dead for a long time. This guy's all, mm, I'm so mad. Yeah, you're mad because you're little, dude. You're mad because you're little. You're mad because you're a little tiny man. And I've seen it my whole life. Little tiny men, they get in positions of authority, and then they're mad because they're little tiny men, and so they, I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat my feelings because I'm a little tiny man, and then they swell, and then they feel like they're big men. But still, they're little tiny men. They'll be nothing more than little tiny men. So we went on my way, and so I find this is the first time, is the third time I bought this stuff from this place, and the lady behind the counter has always been freaking rude to me. Like, I don't like when people question my integrity because that tells me that you don't have any, and I don't like dealing with people that don't have integrity. And so the last time, she wouldn't give it to me. She wouldn't give me the product. Yeah. She said, tell me what line you'll go through, and I'll give it to the register. Mm -hmm. I was like, dude, lady, I got meat in my cart that costs more than that, you know? Yeah. I didn't, but as an example, you know, to just say like, what, what am I going to, am I going to take the carpet cleaner because it's 25 bucks and run out the door? Is that what am I going to do? You know, like, don't, don't, don't treat me like I'm so, some sort of freaking dumbass criminal because I ain't stole nothing since I was two years old. Nope, take that back, 15. I also did make an amends for that, wrote a letter to the optometrist and sent him a check what the item that I took would have cost in modern day time, not what it cost back then. So, <clears throat> people want to start talking about accountability. I got years and years and years and years as an example of it. You okay, Artie Pants? Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. But today the lady was nice. You know, today the lady was cool, so maybe something's different. Who knows? I don't know. But today, all in all, was a pretty good day. I wanted to share that with people. Yep. Hey, Busted Muffin and PETA. Did, were, did you have a different name, Busted Nuff? Mu bu I, I think that's a funny name. A Busted Muffin? Busted Muffin? That's it's, They're on YouTube. They're, they said, hi, Marge and Ma. I like when people include mom. It makes me feel good. So, um, they, oh, trippy synchronicity. I even shared this at the Unleashed place today. I was scrolling because I turn, I'll turn on the TV about nine o'clock so mom can start to wake up, you know? And then to, I, 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 I've been hooked on mom. I think it's the laughter. I don't know. Probably the AA association. Like there's, a lot of freaking con like synchronicities within the show itself. Yeah. Like Marge yeah. is like the old lady, you know, sponsor with all the Marge, you know, with all the A. I mean, that was yeah. Um, she had a son named Jerry that she was estranged with. I have a brother that I'm estranged with named Jerry <laughs> that has a daughter that I wanted mom to grow up with, and so like anyway. Uh, but the synchronicity, I had to take a screenshot because I was scrolling through and I came across this video with like Cat Williams and he was talking about, um, 
crisscross, I think it was. Or maybe somebody was talking about the cri- And I remember one of them died, you know. And we, people don't do drugs because they're happy. They don't drink and do drugs because they're happy. <laughs> you know, they're, they're, they're masking. They're trying to cover up all these woes, right? I know I've done this a number of years. Like, I, I just found better, out, more positive outlets. And... Um, and I was scrolling through, and, and there was this reel with Criss Cross, and they were talking about, uh, yeah, it was Criss Cross. As, I, as I'm watching this reel, on the TV, the character Bonnie and her grandson were dancing to a Criss Cross song. <laughs> and that always trips me out, because I think about not just like, but it's just like, the when they taped like what day they taped that show you know that episode and then they aired it right and then the show has been over for a couple few years now it's been on long you know but then i'm here i am Several years after the show over, I'm watching a show about, you know, and I'm scrolling, and then, boom, that's a synchronicity. Like a trikes like, you know, that's how it works. It's freaking wait, man. There's so much wonderful stuff to behold in this world, and the stuff that people behold is just so weird to me. It's so bizarre. So I had my impassioned conversation today. Did anybody else have an impassioned conversation? I also listened to um, an interview with Robert Phoenix. I'm like, I totally pegged that guy. I totally pegged that guy. What's his name, Robert? Robert what? Phoenix, yeah. Oh, I got to do this. Hi, baby girl. Just don't make it scary. I'm not in the mood. I'm not in the mood for your louder, your scary me. So lots of crazy, interesting stuff. Uh, I'm not really paying too much uh, attention to freaking. I mean, yeah, that I'm glad. You know, I've been talking about free. I'm glad that people are finding stuff that they believe in. You know, I I, I hope that they 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 use that energy to 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 start helping more people in their communities. Good things on the thing. Good things that I'm seeing that I'm real happy about seeing is like there's a guy I think in Minnesota. Where was it? No. I sent it to my friend this morning because I'm trying to share good news too not just oh my god can you believe this crazy shit this guy in Utah this guy in Utah he's growing fruit plants and stuff like fruit tr- like for I think it was 14 or 15 varieties different variety of fruits and vegetables oh, wow. indoors in winter in Utah. That's fun. So I think, you know, that we, we need more of that. Yeah. You know, we're going to get back to grassroots whether people want, want to or not. Yeah. You know, they can go, they can go willingly or they can, you know, go hanging on to their 3D paradigm, their patriarchy where, you know, the men go do what I say, cause don't you know who I am? And I, that that's as soon as people start acting like that, I tune out and I just start acting like a fool. People that like to control people, they hate me, cause they can't control me. You know it? Or I'll comply in a way that makes them look really asinine, if you can believe that. It's an actually, it's a very. <laughs> It's a talent, really. 
<laughs> I can out ass the asses because people have always been asinine to me, you know? Like I've been pulling out pulled out to the side, make me example and stuff like that. Example of what? Being a joyful, happy, you know, person with a good smile, right? Punish me for that. Anyway. Uh, other stuff. What's going on in the world, Mom? Crazy stuff. The geography's changing. Maps are changing. That's why when I was a kid, I was I would always like geography class and stuff like that. I said, how can you give me bad grade for the? This is just how the map is today. Ten years, the map is gonna be different. Twenty years, the map is really gonna be different. Thirty, forty, you know. So why am I being graded on something that is forever evolving? Teachers couldn't answer questions like that, and I would just get, you know, the, I was known as the troublemaker. The troublemaker? You never had to talk to teachers about me, Mom, for getting in trouble? No. Ah, she doesn't remember. I got suspended my 13th year in junior high for calling Mr. Smith the dirty old man. You I wouldn't think. think you, yeah, you did. You were there. You just don't remember. Ah. Just, ah. Uh, oh, well. What are you going to do? So, pay, practice. I've, I've gotten a lot of practice to do that. One, I, 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 one thing I like to do with this channel is tell people what I know. Learn from my mistakes. Don't ever pray for patience. Never pray for patience. Because then you're given example after example after example of situations in life which you'll get to practice patience all right he said all right in my ear right when i said right after i said all right that's funny it's arctic monkey even yep knee socks so many synchronicities so it was nice to go out for a little while today get out and about get my yaw yaws out get some fresh air, get some fresh air see some you know I like making people smile. I stopped off at the Mexican restaurant. Freaking this, look at this. Four, four fifty for a big old huge thing of half beans, half rice. That was pretty good. So th some things are still reasonably priced because me and mom will eat off that for the rest of the day. Anyway, I think I've been yammering on long enough. I just wanted to pop on and tell my story about how, you know, Uranus going direct. And and what is the other conjunction? Mars and may, I, maybe it is Uranus. Let's see here. Mercury and Mars are conjunction conjunct. What's that mean? The, and now my my Mars is in Gemini and my Mercury is in Pisces and my Venus is in Pisces. Oh, you're big. I have a lot of Pi my my yeah, I got Mercury, Venus and Jupiter in Pisces. I was telling them, I said I they put me in a room full of Aries and uh And, and the other areas are like, what are you? <laughs> so anyway, I better start doing my afternoon chores. That's all I got for now. Thanks for hanging out if you did.